What's up, everybody? My name is Brandon Thrasher, and welcome back to the garage. Today, we're giving you my final take on the Orion Knives Scorpio. Now, this is a lot like the Orion Knives Solaris, only smaller and different blade shape. So, if you've handled a Solaris, uh, you kind of get the gist of this knife. But, before we go anywhere, let me give you the specs. Of course, let me open it for you. Give you the specs. This blade is a 14C28N black stone wash, so black wash. This is black micarta, blue accents. It has a flipper, a thumb stud, and a fuller. It's 2.75 inch clip point blade with 2.73 inches of coating surface. It does have a crowned spine. As you can see, it's fully rounded off. Crown to this point and gimping, we'll get into that. Uh, it is a primary flat grind, 80 degrees. Uh, the cutting edge is between a 20 and 22 degrees. 4.05 inches handle length. It is 0 0.57 thick, so a little over a half inch thick is kind of crazy it is kind of a, a, a chonker uh 4.1 inch of grip to the cutting edge so if you're in the choil 3 3.5 ounces or if you want to get specific 17 quarters and a penny is what this weighs which 3.5 ounces is it's not a lot it's not a lot uh it has full th stainless steel hardware a D-shaped pivot. It is designed by uh, David, Mr. Blade Banner himself, right here in the great state of Oregon. And it's OEM by QSP, which is not surprising since David is a uh, QSP representative. So, pretty awesome things. I'm pretty sure this is a titanium clip. I've tested it a couple times now. It's, it's, it's titanium. The hardware is stainless, but it's titanium. Um, so I got two things with this knife to bother me. We will get into those, but right now let's get into the action. The action's good. It's button lock. Very fidgety. I, you know, pretty normal. The fuller works great. Thumb stud works great. We're going to talk about something there, though. Um, overall, in, with the choil, it's extremely good feels awesome without the choil it's small it's a three finger knife for me and never would i ever use it that way i'd be up here every time uh, i love the clip point uh it's it is sharp yes i'm gonna cut paper with it holy smokes guys cutting paper does not mean it's sharp well that is true to a point i mean it's sharp enough to cut paper right is, is it shave sharp um, my hair is really fine, but yeah, it's shaved shop. It's popping hairs off. They're literally laying on there. There's hair there. Anyway, it is, it's sharp, right? Like it's going to blow through this paper. No problem. It's an apex pass around. So this is as much as it happens with the knife. Uh, it's sharp. It can hurt you. It can hurt somebody else. Be goofing around, whatever it may be. That question is answered. Uh, is it stabby? Obviously, it's pokey because, I mean, literal, you know, it's pokey. Uh, it's, it's a fully functional, very comfortable, even though it's kind of blocky. Uh, it does have chamfered edges. I like that. It, nothing hot spot anywhere. It's a gr overall great design. This is absolutely awesome for the pinch grip. Absolutely awesome. You're going to use the old man pinch grip. You're going to cut something and whatever it may be, you know. Um, straight up. That's awesome. I love that, that feature. So, one thing that gets me. Kind of the flipper tab with the thumb stud in this small of a knife. And I'm going to tell you why. With my hand, what happens is I grab the knife, right? 
And as you can see, I gotta flip it, and that's that's where it wants to be. I kind of gotta get, I kind of got used to going up here, getting above it, so it doesn't catch. Uh, if this was a larger knife, obviously that wouldn't be a problem. The flipper works outstanding, so. Uh, but that is the problem. It rolls and rides on my finger right there. Um, I, you gotta be used to using it, and then it's okay. A middle finger flick, yep, right off the thumb stuff, or it's fine, but I just use the puller if I don't fail it by getting my finger in the way. Um, it's just like any other button lock. It, it rolls, the blade rolls on the button. The button counter sinks as it rolls. It gets up to this point, the button pops out, and that's how it locks up. As you can see, it's kind of blurry. My, don't know why it is. My phone hasn't been, I hate recording with my phone, but anyway, it works outstanding. Uh, it feels good. It doesn't really have detent, but it, it does have enough resistance that it can be snappy. And that means it's okay for me. So the other thing that bothers me behind, beyond the flipper tab and it's just a little nitpicky there is absolutely nothing the, the flipper tab thing that's that's a nitpick in my opinion because it works properly it's just a grip for a larger hand right um and the next nitpicky thing i have is i love this blue pivot color but it is nothing like this blue this is really flat very faded i'm pretty sure that G10. I can't take it apart to find out. Um, but if it was aluminum anodized to this same as the pivot collar, it would look fantastic. Or dull the pivot collar and to the same blue. Uh, that that's just, but it's a nitpicky thing. It has nothing to do with the way the knife functions. I'm sure you can buy uh, kits because he has them for the Solaris. Uh, I love the fact you put a lanyard holder in the backspacer area so you don't have that hole. Uh, it is a reversible pocket clip. I also love that. What I was worried about was one screw, but it literally does not move. Uh, it goes in and out of pocket with one hand. As a matter of fact, Thrasher, how does it look in the pocket? Well, let's get it out. That's what I bought this for, right? And uh, don't ever pay attention to this part because this is stretchy material but this is how it's going to ride in your pocket it's not completely deep you got a little bit out i don't think that's a big deal at least for me it's not a big deal um it goes in and out of my actual pocket on my jeans with no problem so that's a that's a good for me because it has to be a one-handed operator in and out of the pocket one hand open close one hand um all in all, it's an impressive knife. I, I've got to handle the Solaris. I haven't reviewed it on the channel, but I have got to handle it. And I thought, I really like that knife. It's definitely more my size. This feels extremely comfortable right here. I wish I could use it so I could tell you guys, yeah, feather steak's great, you know, it um, cuts other thing than, than uh, paper. Uh, I still think it's a great design, a, gr a cool looking little knife. I think David is, well, I know David is an outstanding person because I've talked to him several times. He's a, he's a very nice guy, a great guy, very knowledgeable. Um, I love his, his design. I, 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 he's got a couple new ones that are coming. I can't wait for those either, but I think this is fire for what it is. $85. Now, the Solaris is $85, okay? And the Solaris is a lot bigger. Same thing, 14C28N. However, the Solaris is in G10. This is a micarta, and this is a really nice micarta. So that's where the, the uh, cost is coming from. There is no milling on the inside. It doesn't need it really well. There is milling on the inside. It's hard to see because it's black, but... There's some milling right here, right here. I got no way to show you that because it's so black in there. But there is milling in there. 
Um, I didn't even notice it from before. I just just now saying no milling. Oh, there is milling. I could see, I could see it with the bare eye. Um, yeah, I think it's a pretty dang cool little knife, man. Not gonna lie. I think it's worth the eighty-five dollars. Yep, I do. Fourteen C twenty-eight N, one of my favorite steels. Definitely the best budget steel on the market. Uh, Micarta, and it's extremely well built. Uh, QSP is does a great job OEMing, and uh, I think it's 100% worth the $85. If you're a bigger knife guy, you might want the Solaris, in which case, I believe that's also worth the $85. Uh, but you won't get the Micarta. It'll be in a G10. $35 more on that knife, and you can get carbon fiber scales. Um, anyway, guys. That's my final take on the Orion knives. Um, sorry, I had a burp. Scorpio. Absolutely. You know, I can't, I can't go out there and throw it at a tree or baton with it or like a feather stick with it. I pretty much cut paper and tell you what it's like because it is a pass around knife. With that being said, the quality and fit and finish are very good. Um, the action is also very good. It, it, it doesn't need cleaning, I can tell you that. It's been through a few hands. Uh, it is sharp out of the box. And 100% uh, value worthy, for sure. So that's my final take on the Solaris Scorpio, out of the Solaris, on the Orion 9 Scorpio. Huge shout out to David for sending this around, letting everybody check it out. Uh, appreciate that 100%. Also appreciate uh, uh, the Apex Pass Around group. You guys are amazing. Thank you, David, for running that as well. And uh, I hope you guys have been having a great week, a great weekend, a great doing whatever it is you're doing out there when you're doing it. Um, of course, always do something positive for somebody. Do something positive for yourself. Make yourself happy by making somebody else happy. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.